of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment U.S. fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record of 23 wins, 12 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, Ovis Shake And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of. 36 wins, 10 losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Ben You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Oh, well timed and placed overhand by Rothbard. So nice deception there as he lands the hook. Oh! Straight to the body there by St. Pru. He's got the clinch. Oh, he's keeping busy here in the clinch. Knee to the body. Pummels out of double underhooks here. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by St. Cruz. Back up to his feet. And both guys really throwing with authority. That one hurt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he's looking for that left. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. The king of Kenosha gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Oh, a lot of volume here. Good series of strikes there. Trying to get a single. There's the single. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. The king of Kenosha gets back up again. And pummels under and out of double underhooks. Looks like he's got double underhooks here. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by St. Pru. Boy tie plumb now, Joe. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. St. Pru gets back up again. Boy, tie clinch now, Joe. A lot of damage can be done here. That knee might have landed there. Oh, and another knee by St. Pru. Double underhooks now on the clinch. And long last, some separation here. Good right hand. Combination landed by St. Cruz. Trying to establish that jab once again. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Here's a nice straight left. Under two minutes now to go. Taken down again. OSP gets back up again. Nicely done. Good shot. Nice job to avoid the clinch. Effective punch there by St. Cruz. Hit him hard lands. with that hook. Big straight punch. He missed with that jab attempt there. Both fighters throwing heat now. St. Cruz lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swelling. The king of Kenosha gets hit by that leg kick. Yeah, and here he goes again. Attacking with the guillotine choke. That choke looks locked up tight. Oh, look at that, slips right out of it. In half guard. He lands an elbow here. Oh, damaging elbow combination. Well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by St. Cruz. Big shot. Tying him up here in the clinch. Double underhooks in the clinch. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Fifteen seconds. A oh, hook to the head by St. Cruz. Oh, oh, clipped him with a nice right hand there. That's a pretty filthy combination there by St. Cruz. Second oh, round, straight ahead. Both guys showing up in a big way tonight. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Brittany Palmer in the building as usual. Kenosha. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by St. Cruz. Tagged him. Oh, we clipped him again. Try to establish that jab. Beautiful jab. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Nice. Obvious redness now on the right side of his body, Joe. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by St. Cruz. Trying to take the back here. Big punch from the top. He's now working from side control again. In half guard now. Sweet reversal. Back to full guard, very nice. Back up. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Right punch is good, the left also flush. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward combinations throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it oh he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand he has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range and he gets hit with an outside leg kick 
They clinch up here. St. Cruz got double underhooks. These guys are swinging. An elbow. elbow to the head lands. He's stunned. He's got him hurt here. Oh, very nice. Both guys landing big shots. Here's a nice inside leg kick. Last takedown. Oh, that cut has really opened up now, Joe. That punch will work right through the guard. He's got the arm trap of his opponent. Good defense. Trying to spin to the back. He transitions to the north-south. Trying to get that arm underneath the chin. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Now he gets the full mount again. And here's a nice right hand. Very strong with the back mount. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. And he winds up on top. Now he's in full guard. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, strong punch there by the king of Kenosha, Ben Rothwell. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. The king of Kenosha gets back up again. Nice. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. That one hurt. How about that chin? This could be it. Big shots. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Oh, huge shot there. Nice punch. Spotty shot now, but it's turned back by Rockwell. All right, that's the end of round number two. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. What a great round. This fight is really shaping up. You can't stop your take -downs. You're going to keep taking them down until you get that submission. Ariane Celeste in the building. Ready first. Ready. Third round underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Man, I could watch this guy all day. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round, and at least to my oh, He hurt him. This could be it right here. Shots here now from St. Prue. Knee to the body. St. Prue's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Well, no one's going to accuse him of being a headhunter here tonight. You see the stats bottom of your screen in terms of the body strikes landed, and those are really starting to pile up now. And, Joe, you got to think a lot of damage has been done as well, so perhaps you get an attritive knockout here late in the fight. We'll see. But the body work has been on point here tonight. Couldn't agree with you more. Nice punch by St. Cruz. Looks 
like he's trying for a submission now. He escaped the submission. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by St. Croix. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nicely done reversal. Oh, beautiful kick. They continue to exchange. Mixes it in. Oh! oh! He is rocked right here. He's trying to stay up. Hard straight punch. Rothwell gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. OSP gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, he pummels there. Now he's got double underhooks. He's doing a great job here up against the cage, making his opponent work, staying busy. He got tagged there. St. Cruz got double underhooks now. Mixing in some shoulder strikes there. One underhook here. Excellent work here up against the cage. And he completes the throw. He's moved to half guard here. His opponent pressed up against the cage. He's moved back into side control. Inside control, tying up that arm, looking for the Kimura. Got a very good Kimura. And he's free from the Kimura. He moved into full mount. Under two minutes to go in round three. St. Cruz lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Gets up again here, but hurt. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Look at Whoa! that. Wow. He's got him hurt here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, straight right. Oh! Wow. That's He's it. Out. He's out. He's out. The fight is over. Wow. A huge kick for the knockout victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you want to talk about execution, and he just couldn't have done it any better than that. He is known for his kicks, and that was just a perfectly placed and timed kick. Full force, landed flush, full extension with the leg, and you knew that if his opponent didn't get the guard up, that was going to be the end of the night, and he went good night. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. I mean, just stiff. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ovis St. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.